I love to get down to the beach, get out on the water. Um, I'm still terrified of waves, but once I get past them, I'm good. It was, it was really tough making the move out to California. I'm lucky because California isn't that bad of a place to live, but it's hard being away from my family and, and everything that I'm comfortable with. But I've been very fortunate in that I was able to create a life outside of the rink, which is really important to me. barely sunk into me that I'm an Olympian. It's such a surreal experience and the fact that I have finally achieved what I've been working towards for you know 17 years, it's incredibly exciting. I've developed an identity in this sport. I know what skating is to me. I know who I am within skating. And I think that that has really changed the way that I perform on the ice because now I'm on the ice and I'm skating for myself and I can really put on a show and perform and take on a character and I think that that has completely evolved and changed since 2010. Well, my name is John Nix. Uh, I've been teaching in California for the last 50 years or so. Ashley has the uh, advantage of uh, being a very athletic young lady uh, with uh, considerable artistry, which is sort of unusual in the figure skating uh, business. Well, Ashley is a fighter, but it's also she's very, very independent. I think she's independent because she's lived away from her family since I think she was 18, which is unusual for a competitive figure skater at her level. I, I'm feisty. That is definitely true. I know it and I'm stubborn and I think that that shows in the characters and the pieces of music that I take on. I am not the pretty princess. I'm not the one who will be naturally drawn to softer pieces of music. I need, I need drums. I need loud bangs. I need really strong music and so I think that's pretty evident in my short program, Shine On You Crazy Diamond, that rock and roll, edgy piece of music and my new long program, Samson and Delilah, which is very much the wily temptress type of a character. Well, in Sochi, she is one of the four or five skaters that has a, uh, a definite shot at the podium and uh, any color medal. I think that David Wilson, who choreographed my Romeo and Juliet program, did a phenomenal job. It was a beautiful program, but for me, I had a really hard time relating to the character. I compete better when I have a strong mindset rather than the tragic mindset of Juliet. And I think that I need to be more of a war horse than anything else. So I decided to go back to last year's program, make a couple of adjustments and freshen it up a bit. But really it was a character that I was very comfortable with and Delilah is this strong woman who knows what she wants and she'll go after it and get it in any way that she needs to. And I think mentally when I'm competing that program I feel strong on the ice and that's really what I need to feel like at the Olympics.